This show contains features that may offend some viewers. Viewers discretion is advised. You know, as a kid, I was small, I was immature, and I was learning and developing. As the years went on, I become something that was never prepared for, that was never stopped on, that was always the interest that was in my heart, that was broadcasting. Now, I realize over the years how my personality is as blatantly honest and blatantly truth. I love people, they love me. I'm not the mastermind, but I am the man behind the mask that shows a lot of love and faith, but not the truth upon myself. My name is Austin. A-U-S-T-I-M James J-A-M-E-S Bullock B-U-L-L-O-C-K To start off my name is Austin James Bullock Some of you might know me from school Some of you might know me from work some of you might even know me from the fucking street. You know, I'm going to tell you all something about me. This episode of Real Talk today is about me. Everyone wonders about me all the time. They always think, why is he like that? Why does he always have to be this person. Why does he always have to be so honest? Why does he always have to dress like that? Why does he always have to do this? Why the fuck does he have to always do that? You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to tell you all something right now. First off, to tell you, I am one honest motherfucker. I can say things without realizing it so bluntly that you'll think that I'm doing it out of enjoyment. You'll think I'm doing it because I'm in a pissy mood. You'll think I'm doing it because I don't like you. I'm going to tell all of you something. The people who I've hurt over the fucking years. I'm going to tell you all something right here, right now. I want everyone to fucking listen to me. Number one. Afterwards, if I know I hurt somebody, including my family, who I know I should not have hurt, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. My heart hurts because of the facts that I said something wrong again. It hurts at the fact that I know deep down in my heart that I probably lost that other friend because of my stupidity, my attitude, and my words. Do you want to know what the best, want to know what the worst part is about it? I don't even say any of it on purpose. I don't even do any of it on purpose. I just get it <coughs> to my brain without thinking and then <clears throat> comes out of me. You know? I'm going to tell you all something. A lot of people in their lives have been through hard times. I've been through a lot of fucking hard times in my life. I mean, I grew up with the good stuff. Luxury. Meaning a roof over my head. Food in the fridge. A mom and a dad. And my own self-esteem. But I'm going to tell you all one thing. I'm not going to mention it on the show. But in between those times, I've had a lot of fucking hard times that I can't even tell you. 
that hurt me to the pit of the core of my soul. You know what? I'm going to tell you all one thing. I can tell you all about school. Everyone knows at school there's a lot of bullying. Everybody knows at school there's going to be a lot of people call or hurting you verbally and physically. That can affect you for the rest of your fucking life. And I say that for reasons. Because of the facts that I remember when I had more weight on me. I mean, I'm still a little bit fat. <coughs> but the fact of the matter is, I remember in grade 3 or 4. Yeah, grade 3 or 4. I had gym class. The thing that hurt me the most, where I was confident about my weight, where I thought, you know what, <clears throat> I have weight on me, but I'm not going to let it bother me. I go in the gym class one day, have my t-shirt on me. I go inside the gym locker room, and there's those kids. What do I do? I take off my shirt, try and put on my gym shirt. Everyone saw me taking off my shirt. You know what happened? They all looked at me and they laughed at me. They laughed at me because of how fat I was back then. How they said my boobs were so big that a stripper can't even get the hang of it. I'm going to tell you something. After that day, I had been pissed off. After that day, I have been miserable. And also, at school, I was in music class. I couldn't show up to a concert that night because me and my family had business to do. You wonder what happened? The teachers would not talk to me the next day. Because of what happened. Because of why I couldn't come. They didn't care why. And I'm going to tell you all one thing that hurt me too. That affected me in a lot of ways because I really, really, really had no idea how much people get hurt you that way. <laughs> and with my family, I've had a lot of hard times. I'm not going to mention them on camera. <sighs> you know, with my broadcasting, I have done a lot of things with that. My broadcasting to me is the world. To me my broadcasting is something that keeps me alive. That keeps my life going in some ways besides my family members. To me broadcasting is the fucking thing that understands me. That doesn't fucking judge me. Broadcasting to me is the thing where I can express myself without being bothered or judged. I'm going to tell you guys something right now why I'm talking about this today. I finally came to a realize of something that I am too honest. I need a change of my boundaries. And I'm going to give you guys the answer right now. My best friend Samuel Kalala. We had a talk on the phone. How we, why we weren't hanging out much anymore. Why we weren't doing much together anymore and stuff like that. He told me the reasons why. For one thing, I was getting him to mature too fast because with his Samuel Worldwide. Too many ideas. Two, any show that he would come out with, I would always come out almost with the same thing afterwards, but make it better. Three, I would always criticize him on everything, with, but constructive criticism that would kind of hurt a little bit using the words that I was out of line with. And four, how he didn't want to hang out with me because I made him feel like he had to act like another person. Not going to lie to you, that hurt me to the core when he said that to me. But, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. He's not wrong. He is not wrong about me whatsoever. 
He's right. I am like that. Because when you look at me and I talk to you people, I do tend to say things that are somewhat bad. I do tend to say things that are somewhat mean. I'm not going to lie about that whatsoever. But listen, I, the only thing I can tell everybody is that I'm sorry for anything I said to them that hurt them. Especially in my family. I want to tell everybody that. Because to me, I don't mean to. I don't mean to hurt anybody. All I mean to do is just try to help. But I don't think that is good enough anymore. I think my help to people now is basically hurting them. And <coughs> it hurts me just thinking about it. Because in my mind, I I don't mean to do it, but it just, it just slips out. Um, the only thing I can say is, is that I'm a changed man. I'm not a bad kid anymore. I'm somewhat matured up. I don't want to be that kid anymore that used to do bad things, smoking and shit like that. I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to be that kid now. That's growing up. A mature man. And has more confidence in himself and his family. And I'm going to tell you everybody something. I want to thank all of my supporters out there who have supported me through all my shows. Support me through all my problems. Support me through anything I've ever been through. Because you guys are the ones that gave me the strength to do what I do still today. And that is the real talk. And Grace One Productions tasks that are always done weekly and every single day, seven days a week. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has done that for me. And who have gave me the encouragement to do that for back. And I want to apologize to everybody who I've done bad things to. One of the people is Samuel, Kalala, Jasmine Bullock, my family. Anything I've done to any of you, I'm sorry. Now, I don't care what anyone's done to me. As I said, this show is about showing the new part of me. That's not going to change. That was real talk. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. And please remember the, these words I said. Thank you.